UK non-personal public data. It's not a database, it's a metadata catalogue. It tells you where the information is and what's in it. Okay? It's very hard to explain to people that that isn't a database. I mean, the level of IT education that we have to get into to explain what is different about this architecture is really profound and important. The other thing we had to spend a lot of time doing was unwinding the very complicated licenses that exist within governments, within nations, about what you can say about what data that's been collected. We had a thing called the Crown Copyright. Uh, we've done a lot of work on correcting that. Now, people ask, what's going to happen now? You've got a new government. In fact, the new coalition government has some very, very, very aggressive agenda-setting commitments in this area. One area where it's taking us that we haven't been before is the release of very controversial public spending data. In fact, I'll come on to that, mention that. But also talking about giving a personal right to data, which we do not have in the UK, for citizens to get information that relates to them about them in various formats, such as their medical records. Perish the thought. Okay. So we have, we have, we have some very, very uh, um, dramatic uh, commitments here. Um, Transforming the culture of the public sector to one that presumes secrecy, to one that presumes data should be open and shared with the public on an ongoing basis. If a piece of information in the UK was wrung out of you under a freedom of information request, why aren't you publishing it? Just the cost of doing business in that area alone is very significant. Um, just last week, uh, for example, uh, senior civil servants had their salaries published for the first time. Um, all government contracts and goods uh, over £25,000 in value will be published in full, all details of them from November. Okay. So these are strong commitments. If we expect this from our national governments, we might ask something similar from the EU. Okay. If you want to build trust between yourself and the citizenry, be transparent. There's a lot of tittering in the background. It's such an implausible idea. Okay, well... So data.gov.uk, uh, as I say, has these various accomplishments. Uh, we could go on and talk about that. But what I want to do is talk about what we've built in an enshrined public data principles, which say you have not published this data if you give me a PDF file. Okay, I mean, I don't care about document interoperability. This has to be a machine-readable open standard. And we can argue about what form of XML, what form of XML, or whether it should be an RDF, or whether it should be a comma-separated value file. We can argue about all of those things, but make it available. And Tim's, Tim's piece of evangelism for the last year has been, give us the raw data now, and then we can do things with it. The IT world is 